Alright guys, Dustin here and another episode of Camp Life because we are at camp and this is Marksmanship Elective. There's my marksmans back there. Alright, they're fixing to throw some tomahawks, some st uh, stars, and the uh, Special Forces throwing shovels. Y'all want to give yourselves a shout out here. Give me names or whatnot. Uh, Strikert and Fortnite. Chevy. Carson. Jake. F2 Tex. Minitube. Carson. 4.13 AJ. Chip. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. So we're fixing to go over just our normal. This is how you throw a tomahawk. And we've been doing this what, since Top Shot. So it's been like been seven years. And I'm going to give the camera over to my bipod, which is named Evan. There you go. All right, cool. All right, because not a tripod today. Here, if you want to see the screen. There you go. That'll help. All right, guys. So tomahawks. Uh, we are going to be throwing the tomahawks. Well, y'all heard that right there. So uh, what it is, is uh, you're going to all sit chill on the line back here until it's your turn. We're going to have three throwers at a time doing one of each things. This big of fat line here is like our safety line. For, but you're going to be sitting down most of the time anyway. But only one will enter at a time. You're going to go straight up into tomahawks here. So that's what the chair is for. So you'll like be going straight in. So you're on deck. When you're on the chair, you're going to count how many uh what you call uh, sets we throw it's how many times we go down range okay because i lose count counting the three that's hard so you guys are gonna whoever's sitting in the chair ready to come in you're gonna be the one counting the three to tell us when our rotation is and uh then so between these two lines is our throwing zone but then past this line is down range you don't go down range unless uh we call fetching okay no throw and go sound alike so when we say fetching that means range is cold and then we go down range uh, this whole bare area that you see is where most people throw. So you, when, when you throw a tomahawk, it's going to go one full rotation to stick into the target. That's around this, this, this area right here. You may think, hey, I'm going to get closer. Like, you buy one, you go home and you want to do that. That's not going to work because if I throw from here, when it's in midair, it's going to hit like this against that target. But we need it, of course, to hit like this to stick. So that's why we throw from here. If you want a, a variation of that, there's different types of throws, but of course, you double this distance, and then you're throwing from two rotations. Click, and it'll stick like that. All right, so I think that's the safety stuff. Um, just make sure that you're only coming straight in, and otherwise we're not going to throw until it, you know we only have the throwers here. To throw the tomahawk, we use the Cold Steel Norse. We'll leave a link in the description. There you go. And then uh, you put your knuckles on top of the handle. The handle's kind of got a ridge, so when you hold the tomahawk correctly, when your knuckles face the target, so does the axe head. You're gonna start at, with your left foot forward for right-handed people, all right? So left foot forward, right foot behind you because your whole body's gonna throw. You're gonna start by stabbing towards the target. So if you're left-handed, of course, do everything backwards. So it's just like you're a sword and poking. You're gonna start here. Then you wind back and you go straight above your head. Baseball guys have the absolute worst time and I'll be able to tell who is baseball because you go off to the side like this, like it's a ball, and it messes it up. Now, it's possible, but the problem is you got too many inconsistencies going on there, and sometimes the blade gets, uh, you know, you may hit like that. So anyway, try to just go straight up in line with your body. Push off with the toes of your back foot. That's where your power is going to come from. When you do that, you're going to start your swing, and then right here where you poked out like a sword, you're going to let it slide out of your hand while you keep moving down. Okay, whoever's been in sports or whatnot, you have you heard follow through? Yes. yes. Very, very important. Because if you uh, if if you throw like this and then let go here, okay, I, I cannot, I can't help you. But there's nothing we can do here until you start your complete follow through, letting it slide out of your arm here. So you're each going to have a different. Uh, kind of rotation because oh, you're different, okay? You got different arm lengths, different, uh, uh, even your body height will translate into it, and just how you rotate the tomahawk in the first place. So, usually, start for most of you guys in your size about a foot off the line, but for me, I'm about three foot off the line. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna line up right at that target there, rear back, and let it rip, and then that's the perfect 45 degree angle we're looking for. Now, when you go into tweaking your distance, what you may see, like if you hit like this, oh, well, it still sticks. But if we want that 45 degree stick, just so we have the most forgiveness either way, 
we would we would back up a little bit to have that. If it sticks like this, we're too far back, and we need to scoop forward to have it like so. Because uh, if you're too close, that handle's going to bounce. It's going to jump out first. Okay. Now, once we get a stick in the target, you just wait. Your other friends may be throwing. You're just going to watch them, and you're going to wait because you we're going to put some extra tomahawks here in case you miss or they don't stick. But once it sticks in the target, if you're throwing consistently, that next tomahawk may be right on top of it. And what's going to happen? It's going to get tomahawk. It's going to split that handle. Yeah, and unless you're putting ten dollars down to you know deposit for the handle, uh, it, it just just uh, it, it just <laughs> you're going to wait. And then we're going to call fetching. We all go down together. And when you pull it, don't pull it out. If you pull it, the target can come down on top of you. Okay, so grab the bottom of the handle and just wiggle, 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 and it'll come on out. Don't chop the card or chop pine cones. Just bring it on back safely. It's pointed. Don't run. And then we're going to lay it off to the side, blades down range, not stabbing it in the dirt. Any questions on tomahawks? Y'all like this? A lot of times people are like, what? What's with the shovels? But yes, y'all got it. Special forces throwing shovels. Who, who knows what special forces uses what? Which one? Spetnaz. All right, they're the ones that made this popular. Who's Spetnaz? What special forces country? I don't know. Don't know that either? <coughs> Russia. Oh, that's incredible <coughs> duty. Russia. <coughs> Russia. <laughs> okay, yes, you got it, Russia. Russia. All right, so what we have is, is are those where um, it's just a sharpened shovel. I love carrying these in my vehicles because you can chop and dig, okay? You dig yourself out of getting stuck or whatnot. Um, the sharpened edges on all sides gives you more forgiveness when you throw because this will stick, this will stick, this will stick, and if we just went over that with the rotations of the tomahawk, that'll be forgiving. So that means if I'm too close, it works. If I'm just right, of course. If I'm too far, it can work too. All right, if you come to our marksmanship camp, we actually cut rope with these by throwing them. So that's a cool one too. All right, but it's about the same as uh, tomahawks all around. You're gonna start, okay, I used to grab it just like a tomahawk by holding it at the bottom of the handle, but now I put that bulb in the palm of my hand, and I'll tell you why in a second. Lock your wrist, step forward just like tomahawks, drive just like tomahawks, lift just like tomahawks, swing just like tomahawks, follow through just like tomahawks, but you have to, because that bulb is there, it likes to stick in your hand. And so what you have to do is when you hit this part that you started at, you know, where you're driving it out, you have to remember to let go a little more. Tomahawks slide right out of your hand, shovels do not. They like to stick in your hand, and when they stick in your hand, they go low. So your distance will be the same as tomahawks where you're going to get three foot behind it and drive it towards it, rock your back, let it rip, and then that's the perfect 90 degree that we're looking for, all right? All right, question. Um, like, could you chop down like smaller trees with it? Sure. I mean, I've chopped down a willow tree this big with a machete. So if you want to, it, it, it works. Now, these, these handles do not hold up as much <laughs> as the tomahawk handles. Tomahawk handles hold up like forever. These handles break more because they're just spun on a lathe. They're not that hickory. So that, you can be forewarned. Now, after shovels, oh, I forgot the two-handed thing. Hold on. On tomahawks or shovels of both. If you hold it out there and like, man, this is heavy. What you can do is put a second hand right here on top of it. Not up here. Right on top of your other hand. Do the same thing. Drive out. Rock straight over your head. Push off with your toes. And then just release it there. Sometimes it will change your distance, though. Um, I don't know what mine is. I don't. I, I only throw two-handed occasionally just to see what's up. Yes, throwing stars is next. Or what's the S Shuriken. word? Shuriken. Is that Shuriken. such a weird? Huh? Shuriken. 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 Like, sure you Shuriken. can. But you sure. can buy the throwing stars. All right. Shuriken. In some states. That one's the fat one. We got to get this Shuriken. one there. That's the normal one. All right. Cool. So um, yes, we sell these in the gift shop, but you have to have parental permission to purchase pointy paraphernalia. So don't even have to ask if you don't have a parent present. What? Um, hmm? I did not understand a word. <laughs> <laughs> Parental permission to purchase pointy paraphernalia. Okay. All right. That means you can't buy pointy stuff without a parent. There you go. That's what I said. All right. Now we in yes, it's alliteration. It's, it's fun. Yeah. All right. So for uh, throwing stars, you can throw them in technically in any way, but we're not. We're gonna throw it the same way that you do with tomahawks. And shovels, so you're building the same skills. Uh, the only two things I, I need to say is kind of what don't to do. Don't be so scared of it. You just grab the point. You just grab the tip. Uh, you have no control. The sides aren't sharp on on throwers. Okay, uh, you're just looking for a point. So yes, it's pointy, but it's not sharp. And don't grab it all the way in the middle, or else you have no spin. So just grab it down there at the bottom and uh, grab a point firmly. 
uh, grab, hold all three of them though. Don't leave them on the ground so you're bending over and picking up, kind of you know messing with your equilibrium and getting dizzy. Uh, so same thing though, point your toes at the target, just like the tomahawks. Yes, there are two knots in the black on this target. It makes it difficult. Just go for the card. All right, watch me only hit the knots. Okay, I did good. I didn't. All right, and then just oh, <laughs> bulletproof card. It's a bulletproof card. All right, at least starproof. No. If you, if you hit the bullseye cards today, you can keep the bullseye card. Um, but watch out because if you miss the whole target, it will roll and hide down the hill. So if you if you miss, go to the side, watch where it goes so you know where to find it. All right, that is stars. Any questions? Ready to throw? Okay. Uh, yep, yep, looking good. Lean in towards it. Yeah, lean, yeah, now rock back and throw. Good. That sucks. All right, empties, fetch in. Nice. Nice. All right, did y'all see how slow they threw, though? It's not strength. It's just the form. You get the good form and... Okay. You did, it, that was good. It worked. Your hand was up here, though, so make sure you're being consistent. And this, see, if I let go here, so it's going to be drag. So hold here. And it'll... Oh! You're doing great. It's still, okay, you, you, you're good though. You stuck it. But yeah, next time we still need to scoot closer because we're over rotating that much. Oh, that was close. I, it, no, I think it hit a wood. I mean, a, a knot. You're okay. You try again. It hit a wood. There it is. You got it. Your very last throw. Empties. All right, fetch in. Oh, wow. You threw it so light, but it worked. Uh, still we need to back up, because if you would have hit higher, see look, with that handle like that, if you would have hit higher on the target, the handle would have hit first. So that's why we want to make sure we just get the right one. That star shot away. Oh, nice! Beautiful. Uh -huh. so, hey, you knocked the car down. He has a question. Okay, we're still letting go too early. And here, here, we're also doing this. Look at me. Instead of stabbing and, and letting go here, you're letting go here. All right, so try more follow through. What was the question? Okay, that's Carmine to you. Yeah, I would never do that. Probably do it. But the throwing weapon is hard. Almost. It almost bounced in. Try again. Throw a little harder. You're going to need it. Too cute. Are you going to? Yeah. Yeah! Perfect! Oh, he gets a three! All right, total score of four. All right, fetch in. Bring it back. All right, so we wrapped up our competition, and Carson there, congratulations. There you are. Like I, it's hard to point with a, yeah, a camera. Uh, he got 12 points and beat everyone else. We are using these Cold Steel Norse Hawks. We will leave a, a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Everybody tell them bye! Bye! Okay, bye!